What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another solo leveling arise video. Okay guys, a couple of questions that you guys all have been asking me regarding the armory. So I'm going to talk to you guys what it is, what, it, what it's all about, how to use it, how it benefits you, why it's very important of course, and uh, the best ways to get yourself the currencies in order to continue using it, leveling it, etc. Right? So let's go to the armory. Now this is something you unlock as you play the game. The armory and the battle class are two separate systems. So um, I also want to talk about special commissions as well too because I think this is very important for free-to-play players and you should be taking advantage of this. So let's start off with, actually you know what, since this is the order, let's start off with special commissions. Now this is a tab that's available to everybody no matter who you are, free to play, pay to win, it doesn't matter. And this is a tab for you to actually start hunting specific monsters at an alarming rate to get yourself bonuses, okay? So you guys can see here, there's 175 of these monsters to hunt down, okay? And as you progress through the stages up to 180 points, you get yourself tickets, whether it's limited tickets or regular banner tickets. This is extremely important, okay? Because this is an easy way to get yourself these limited tickets because for free-to-play players especially, that's a hard thing to come by. This game does not give those out far, uh, like enough, but you get yourself the Essence Stones, of course, right? So there is a very important part of this that you need to understand. Auto mode is your best friend for this. You can actually hunt any of these monsters at, on any stage. It doesn't matter what stage it is, right? As long as you hunt these monsters, even on the easiest stage, put on auto mode, let it run, and just keep recycling it over and over and over and over again. Now, you guys can see here, every single time you earn the amount, you get yourself essence stones as well. And there's quite a few of them. Like, look at this. One monster gives you guys 100, 200, 300, 400. 400 essence stones per monster per, per every time you achieve it, right? So it starts off with 50, but it just goes up from there. Now, remember, these spider bosses, for example, and spider leaders and stuff, you have to actually fight the boss, but these are easy stages. Some of these stages here, like the cave bear, you'll find plenty of them. They're all over the place. So what you want to do, guys, is go ahead and find you guys, find these monsters wherever you can in the stages. So the best thing you, you want to do is go to story mode, essentially, is just find a, a, a mob, right? Let's just go to the earliest one, for example. Uh, let's go to ch chapter three. You guys can see here, there's ants on this one. Uh, there is a Tales of Warning. I, I, you know what? I don't know if it t tells you what bosses there are. Let me just see. Or what enemies there are. I don't think it does. I think if you, you play, you have to find it. So we'd have to go searching. I'm going to see if I can make a guide for this. Let me see if there's anything here that tells you. No, it doesn't. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping over time, guys, I'm going to make a strategy or at least locations for every single monster, and I'll put that out. But this is a very important one, obviously. Now, an easy place to find these things are, are going to be your gates. But the problem with gates is they're limited, right? So you like your best bet is to find one of these monsters in, a, in an easy stage and just jump in there and try to like kill them as much as you can, as fast as you can, and get yourself as much of the essence stones as you possibly can through doing that alone. It's one of the easiest ways to get yourself some stones. I'm starting to, I'm starting to do it now currently on my free-to-play account, the, the SR one, just so I can get more of those essence stones so I can do more gates, and it just keeps recycling over and over and over again, right? So this is a one-time thing, but it's very, very important. So make sure, guys, again, try to find a stage where one of these mobs are located or just do gates where they're there and you guys can just reap the benefits from all these extra tickets and the essence stones that they drop all right so that's that's number one wanted to cover that one real quick because that's that's an easy one all right guys now that we got that down let's talk about the more complicated actual system in the game and that is going to be the armory now it's not overly complicated but i do want to break it down and how it works and why it makes a massive boost to your account and how you want to handle it okay so these pedestals here there are six of them can host any of Sun Jing Wu's, sorry, Sun Jin Wu's weapons. That's correct. I was like, who was I talking about for a second? Uh, and essentially the way it works is you click on the pedestal, okay? So let's just click on the pedestal there. You guys can see the weapons I have on there, all my SSR weapons. And based on the weapons that you place on here, they will give you a certain buff. So you guys can see here, the buff is as follows. Bonus total power is given depending on the weapon grade applied to the armory. Rare weapons, 250 bonus power. SR weapons, 500. SSR weapons, 1,000, okay? And you guys can see here, as you level these up, they will increase in power as well. They'll give you a 52% boost, 73% boost, or 16% boost, 31% boost, etc. So let's just go to weapon management for a sec. It's right underneath my face, right here. I'm covering it. If you click on that, you guys can put whatever weapons you want on this pedestal. And again, you guys saw the difference, right? So if I were to put this on, for example, right, you guys would see this weapon would give me a boost of, what was it, 500? If I put a rare weapon on there, right, it would give me a boost of 250, while SSR weapons will give you a boost of 1,000. So this is a massive, massive power increase as soon as you do that. So the way it works is you will host six weapons of your choice, 
Ideally, you want them to be SSR. Of course, not all free-to-play are going to have that opportunity, especially so you want to put a mixture of SSR, SRs, and, and rares. And remember, you can re replace these at any time, okay? As soon as you do that, the next thing you want to do is you want to now collect these little tokens. Okay, I'll show you guys real quick. It's called the Armory Enhancement, and the transfer ratio is 30%. And right now, currently, I have a 1,000 power, right? You guys can see here the bonus, the total bonus that as depending on the weapon grade applied to the Armory. So if I were to replace this, for example, this would be for something else, obviously it'd be lower, right? In this case, we're not gonna do that. So the, for example, the Huntsman is zero plus zero out of seven. Now, if you were to look at the actual buff, uh, where is that, hold on, I think if I go back, shows you right here. This is currently where you wanna be. If everything goes to plus one, you get a total power of 3,677 on top of the current power that you're raising, okay? So when you get to plus two for everything, etc., cetera, it'll, it'll increase more and more. So here, this is plus zero out of seven. So if I click Armory Enhancement, it's going to ask me to use 50,000 gold. Yes, it is very, very, very expensive, guys. Very expensive. But you guys can see here, as I do that, it transfers this pedestal's ratio from level one to level, sorry, from level zero to level one, which means anything that sits on this pedestal is going to have an increase. You guys can see here now it goes all the way up to 182 versus 49% on a rare, right? So you wanna keep raising these. Now each pedestal has its own amount that you can use. So you guys can see a couple of them are plus one, some are plus two, some are zeros. So let's go and do the Grimoire for example, right? If I wanna go ahead and level this one up, this pedestal specifically, you enhance, and you guys can see here, my power now went up on this specific uh, specific item, right? Or this this pedestal, sorry. So overall, my power just went up by a thousand. So this now anything I place in this area will now also increase based on the rarity of the weapon. So it's very very important, guys, to level them all up fairly equally across the board because it's a lot cheaper. Now, what do you? How do you get these tokens? A lot of people are going to ask that question, so I'm going to answer that. The sources are gates. So if I go to if I move to a gate, I'll show you guys real quick an example of one. Let me rescan this real quick. And they usually draw from break gates or right there, see? And the higher level gates, the more chance you have of dropping these. So I'll just show you guys. I'm gonna sweep this one real quick so you guys can see kind of how it looks, all right? Let's actually just sweep it. Let's go here. Now remember, it's just a chance for these to drop. It's not 100%. So if I go like this, see, that one didn't, nothing dropped there. So move on to the next one. So this one over here, for example, also has a chance and they're always going to be available and always a chance based drop. It's not hundred percent all the time. Okay. You guys can see here, nothing dropped again. So move on this B rank one here might also have a chance. This one actually does not see. So you might not want to farm these ones specifically. We'll get it anyways. I think the A rank ones do. And there we go. A rank ones do. So we'll do this one sweep. And did we get it? No, we didn't. So they're very rare, as you guys can tell. So this is one way of doing it. They're just as rare as getting shadows. Now, the second way of doing it is a little easier, but it's still somewhat difficult, okay? So when you go to the weapon materials exchange section of the game, you're going to see a little icon here right in the bottom that lets you get the mark of time one and mark of time two. Now, mark of time two are the more expensive ones, and those you're going to do later on. Armory is a long-term marathon, by the way, guys, okay? But these mark of, mark of times you can get from just salvaging your rare weapon. So as you salvage, you want to go ahead and collect these over time. Now, you can see there's 50 of them, and each one you get is five. You guys saw before, I think it's to level up the first one from zero to one was, what, 30? Right, so you need to go four times... Um, on those, okay, in order to get them. Am I correct? No, sorry, four times. Uh, six times, six times on those, six times to get them. My math is way off. Six times to get that, but you guys can see as you increase the level, it gets way, way more expensive, right? So for example, to get to, from, from this from one to two is 50, etc. It gets just more and more and more and more. So it gets more costly. So you're going to need to do a lot of salvaging in order to take advantage of that. Again, the armory is a marathon. Now that total power will apply towards your entire team. Everybody gets to take advantage of it. So it is one of those like blanket power increases that you get through the game. Okay. So very important guys, even if you have rares or SRs, put them on there, take advantage of the system. Uh, and then remember you can replace them at any time. All right. Now, on top of that, once you do increase that, that's going to increase your battle power overall, and then that will obviously give you guys the opportunity to increase your battle class. All battle classes, guys, is when you hit a certain threshold of power, it gives you guys loot. So you get gold and crystals, and that's essentially how that works. It's very straightforward, very simple. It takes your top five units with the most ma with the max power, and it just gets, says, hey, this is your top five. This is what your total power is. You take advantage of it. All right, so there you guys go. Uh, you guys can see in the bottom, you can achieve higher battle class based on your team's highest total power.
Your highest total power is the power of Sung Jin Wu, plus the total power of your three highest level hunters, plus the power of your armory of uh, army of shadows. If your total power is boosted anywhere, like ar um, sorry, if your total power is boosted in other ways, like armory upgrades, for example, these boosts will be reflected in the same way as the team formation menu. So there you guys go. It is going to be there as well too. All right, guys, this is Payne. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was insightful. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.